stakes-winning broodmare prospects and in full mares were popular commodities as buyers took a final chance to fill their season orders at the phasing Tipton winter mix sale. The last opportunity to buy stock before breeding season starts, Phasing Tipton's two-day auction posted gains over 2017 as positive trends continued at the top of the market. Topping the sale was Girl Talk, a five-year-old daughter of Medallia de Oro offered as a racing or broodmare prospect by Denali Stud as agent for Ramona Bass and Cheyenne Stables. The last horse threw the ring Tuesday as part of the supplemental catalog. The stakes place winning daughter of grade two winner One Caroline brought 310,000 from Rock Ridge Thoroughbreds. I think our plan right now is to let Dallas Stewart, you know, try to continue racing her this year, so, and then uh, we'll retire to our farm. We don't have many mares, but, uh, you know, this definitely stepped up our quality. We're excited. But we obviously would have liked to have got her a little cheaper, but, uh, you know, the good ones seem to cost a little more money, so. But like I said, we're, we're very glad to have her. You know, we tossed around uh, Curlin, obviously, for uh, we tossed around maybe gun runner, but uh, but I think the plan right now is to race her the rest of this year. We bought the uh, it's the old classic star farm on Grassy Springs Road, and we've had it about five years. And like I said, it's it's been a a slow building process, and we've we've made some mistakes and learned from those mistakes, and uh, we just you know tried to buy a good mare here for the future. The top priced yearling of the sale also went through the ring Tuesday. A Tis Now Colt sold for $260,000 to a pin hooking partnership. Glenn Brock signed the ticket on the half brother to three winners, including two stakes horses, offered by Blake Albina Thoroughbred Services as hip 419. I loved him. <laughs> From the minute I saw him walk in the ring. <laughs> Is that what you said? Uh, he was a little more expensive than I expected to give, but uh, we were sure willing. Osama Abuzali's International Equities Holding took home 16 lots, including Monday's top price. The grade two placed Too Much Bling Mare, Bling on the Music, consigned by Bakari Bloodstock, and sold for $260,000 as a broodmare prospect. Sumaya U.S. farm manager Jody Alexander said the mares were purchased with two special stallions in mind. We're looking for more mares. We take California chrome to the southern hemisphere, and we're looking for a few more mares up here to support them in the northern hemisphere. Plus, we're still trying to get mares for our stallion for Tonico. Overall, 364 horses sold for a gross of $10,436,800, up 9.8% from last year's total. The average rose 4.9%, the median was up 16.7%, and the RNA rate dropped 2.8%. Full numbers are available in Ron Mitchell's recap. Phasing Tipton President Boyd Browning said he found positive signs in the depth of bidders at the top end of the market. So you can really sell a good horse right now. Uh, there's a lot of demand. And the one thing that it continues to be encouraging on the upper end of the marketplace is the number of bidders uh, on both the foals and the mares on the horses that sold well. I mean, there's some depth to the marketplace and the quality offerings. Uh, it's still not fun for those horses that miss the mark. But if you're gonna be a participant in the commercial marketplace, you better be emphasizing quality, both in terms of pedigree and confirmation. Uh, confirmation continues to be uh, the king. 10 years ago, you could ask me to appraise a broodmare prospect on based on her pedigree. And I can give you a pretty, I, thought, I can generally give you a pretty good idea. Today, trying to appraise a, a broodmare prospect or virtually any type of horse on paper without having a physical confirmation on them, you, you'll look like an idiot because you can be 100% off in either direction. This concludes our coverage in the bluegrass, but Ron Mitchell heads down to Florida for the OBS March sale of two-year-olds in training. You can find his content in Blood Horse Daily and at bloodhorse.com.